earthwork calculation using the block method. Hello everyone. Welcome to the video tutorial on doing an earthwork volume calculation report using block method. Earthwork calculation can be done with section method or using the block level method. The block level method is prepared by infrastructure industry as that method of calculation is much simpler than the section method. The block level calculation involves averaging the levels at four corners of a grid block and then finding the difference between the averages and multiplying with an area of the grid. Block method is also called division of square method. Calculation of earthwork by taking averages of ground levels and formation levels is the shortest method to compute the volume. However, those results of average method are not very accurate. If the whole area is divided into smaller blocks and then if you compute volumes by taking average, it will give you better results. Click on block button and select average item under ground and formation group and select area, block boundary, block number and block volume. When you click on view button, you can note that for each box, volume calculation is done separately. These boxes are formed depending upon the grid interval as specified, which is 5 meters in this demonstration. Software is finding the average of base surface levels and comparative surface levels, and it is multiplying the difference in averages with area of that particular block to derive the volume of that particular block. By clicking on Report button, an Excel sheet with details of computation will get generated, which will have block number all the initial levels, average, final levels and their average, area of that particular block and final volume of that block either in cutting or filling is displayed. Please also note that there will be slight variation in the volume calculation done with this method and section method for two reasons. A. In the block method of calculation, if both ground and formation surfaces are intersecting within a block, then there will be loss of volume because of averaging out. This is called nullifying error. B. If the boundary is not exactly passing on the grid surface, in such cases the small areas formed outside the grid which is not considered for area calculation. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn exporting data from CAT drawing for earthwork calculation.